Hey, so it's March 18th, and welcome to the vlog, I guess. Uh, it's my personal day three. I didn't go out since Sunday night. Um, anything that I've done where I went out had minimal to no human contact, and when I got home, pretty much everything I brought home, I completely sanitized, uh, and then also sanitized myself. I jumped in the shower, which some might say is an overkill, but I don't think so. I currently feel like there's a lot of people that aren't taking this as seriously as they should. And as this vlog goes on, we'll continue to kind of see what happens. Um, I have a place where I'm looking out the window and I'm still seeing a lot of people doing a lot of stuff and it's, it's irresponsible, that's what it is. Anyway, um, I'm not too worried about it. When you live with a disability, you pretty much always are stocked up on all your essentials. I know I always have a minimum of like 30 days worth of stuff and I also have extras of everything. But for now, I mean, I'm, I'm stocked up on supplies. Food is another thing. I, I did get a lot of stuff I could put in the freezer, but um, everyone seems to be hoarding a lot of these non-perishables, so I gotta like just cook my own meals, but it's fine. What I found interesting is there's an abundance of fruits and vegetables, but if you go in the freezer section, it's basically empty. Hey people, take care of yourself. Anyway, I'm about to go to the gym. Uh, luckily, I've got a gym in my apartment building, so I'm gonna go downstairs and do a quick workout. I've resorted to pushing buttons with my elbows. Take no risks. sweat in every day if you can. A lot of people are not as privileged as I am and have a gym where they live, I understand that. Uh, but you can definitely find like a long hallway to push up and down a bunch of times. Um, you can do a lot of exercises in your chair. I'm pretty sure my friend Jessie, if you look on her social media and her YouTube, um, she's got um, a lot of those workouts available. I'll link those below. You wanna get your sweat going. You wanna get your, your, your lungs going. You wanna get your blood flowing because we're in a time where you don't wanna gamble with your health at all. Especially all you guys that are at home and not a PT anymore. Find a way to continue that practice if you can. Okay, so I quite literally just rolled in the door. By my door, I like to keep some wipes if I can. And basically, anything that I brought back with me is getting cleaned. So, I'm gonna go ahead and disinfect my ear pod because in the gym, I paused and played it. Even this camera, I'm gonna have to sanitize as soon as I, I cut you guys off. So. I am now going to disinfect my phone because my phone was touching things. Although my hands haven't been washed, I'm gonna go ahead and wash them right after I wipe down my push rims. I'm gonna get two, one for each push rim and kind of just push around the apartment and let it slide. I'm gonna push myself to the sink so I can then wash my hands uh, in the sink. If you don't know how to wash your hands, go check out the most recent video that I put out about hand washing. It's gonna be over here in this corner. I just got off the phone with Andrew and it looks like uh, we are going to be probably experimenting with these vlogs for a couple of days. Um, let me know how you enjoyed this one so far. I leave a comment down below and just like let me know what you're up to today and how you're keeping yourself busy and, and what you're doing to you know move yourself forward. I know it's really crappy that we're stuck in a position like this that we have to be crazy sanitary, washing our hands, wiping things down. But remember it's only temporary. Uh, everything in this life eventually passes, it changes, it moves on, and um, if we live this day by day, then everything is gonna be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the shower, and I'll catch you guys when I get out. All right, so I am out of the shower. When I was in the shower, I was sitting there thinking like how I prepared slash was, was already um, prepared for this, so. When you're a person with a disability, um, you guys, <laughs> some people might make fun of me. I'm totally using Lush stuff, but it, I can't. I'm gonna be out soon and I'm not going to the mall to go pick up any Lush stuff. That's 
an unnecessary trip to be in public, but I always like to make sure that at a minimum I have a single backup or maybe a double backup of items. So whether that's um, face wash or hand lotion or toothpaste or toothbrush or catheters or wipes, uh, I'm gonna give you a quick little tour of all the things that I always keep doubles of and sometimes triples. So something that you can definitely um, do during this uh, lockdown quarantine is listen to podcasts. Andrew and I have a podcast. Um, I'll link that somewhere around here. Um, also, there's other podcasts. When I was in the shower, I was just listening to uh, Dr. Phil. It's called Mystery and Murder Analysis by Dr. Phil. Used to make fun of him. No, I don't make fun of him. Kind of a smart guy. His TV show sometimes is dumb guilty pleasure of mine. Um, but anyway, um, I mean, I got my shirt on. Let me put my shoes on and then I'll show you some stuff. So first things is I always like to have an extra stash of catheters if I can. Um, I always got like a box of these um, big lubricants, which I'll show here in a second, and extra gloves. And this is like my super emergency backup and you'll see why up in a second. Um, these lubricants right here and, and these wipes um, are usually made for when I go out places. But since we're not going out places now, I guess they're going to be my backups. But I already have backups, so let's just go ahead and move to the toilet area. So, um, I always like to have one of these lubes. That was the tube that you saw in there a second ago. Um, these Huggies wipes. And I don't know how long this is going to last me, but normally it lasts like a good three to six months. So, fingers crossed, we'll see. Um, also, my gloves over here for my pooping. And I leave my catheters over here. Uh, currently, I am saving all of my used catheters just because there's always the potential possibility that the supply chain gets uh, disturbed and if the supply chain is disturbed then you want to be able to have catheters that you can clean on your own. Some of the OGs back in the day like 20 plus years used to boil them um, with water and white vinegar and then would dry them in like uh, paper lunch bags and um, They would use one a week like insurance would only pay for four a month. Could you imagine? But apparently the UTIs weren't um, horrible Supposedly, I mean, I don't know. I don't recommend this, but this is kind of one of those like emergency precaution situations I've reached out to all the people I know in the medical supply industry slash catheter supply industry And they say that for now there's no interruptions in the supply chain that everything should be working okay as long as local shipping doesn't shut down UPS, FedEx, USPS, etc. Uh, but I don't think that will happen. I usually get my gloves on Amazon and currently they're like $80 a box, which yikes, that's a big deal. I was gonna get some extras, I already have some extras, but I'm not using them for anything other than my bowel program. There is a company that I know I'll link it down below. It's called At Home Medical. At Home Medical is offering at a at a not gouged price. They also have got like Clorox wipes and other other things that we need that aren't available on stores and aren't available on Amazon. I just wanted to let you guys know that's there. Okay, so things that I use every day, and I'll start from getting out of the shower. Q-tips. Got those on lock, got a whole box down below. I use face lotions and sprays and stuff like that you saw. I also have allergy medicine and I have like six of those. I've got a floss stick with little tips on it. I've got cases of those. Um, toothpaste, you can see I'm about to run out, but I always already have more of those. And every time I buy something, I stick with it and I buy three at a time usually. And whenever I use my last one, that's my reminder to go get more. So whenever I pick up the last one, I'm like, oh look, this is the last full bottle that I have. I will then go to the store, get more. I know I mentioned it earlier, but you know, just like for like the face creams and stuff like that, if I run out, I'll just have to stop using it or figure out something different. It's pimples, whatever. I'd rather get pimples than get this virus. Also, I was prepared for if I do get sick, like I've got a little thermometer here to monitor my temperature. Um, although this one is kind of empty right now, this one's full. Those are kind of like my to-go, how I pack 
my bag that you've seen, it's gonna be linked to one of these places. Got an extra body wash here, and there's an extra more in there. I've got, like I said, I got, you know, six of these. This from, you know, if I do get sick, I've got, you know, Mucinex and Afrin, which is, is great. Got toothpaste, like, but this is all just what I'm showing you, like, in the bathroom area. Um, I also make sure I've got, you know, like, Tylenol to keep the fever down if that happens. I like to do... 90-day uh, supply on all my meds, which is a good idea. Yo, if you guys are stuck at home, like practice your wheelchair skills, like practice your wheelies, practice all the stuff that I've got videos. I've got a wheelchair basics playlist. There's gonna be some more wheelchair basics videos coming out soon, and I'll try to link them. This is my fridge. I've got eggs in my fridge. I got some random sandwich meat. I've got um, chicken and then some more chicken, some steak, some blueberries, um, soda, asparagus, bacon because bacon wrapped asparagus is delicious. I also have like all my sauces and stuff, but if those run out, okay, whatever. All my like flavored waters, oatmeal, I always eat oatmeal, I'm almond flour, brown sugar that I use pretty much every day. And then I got my, oh look at that, I got a little bug. A little bug. I think I'm gonna be good for this week, maybe next week. I'm probably gonna be FaceTiming friends um, and family, I'm gonna be opening up windows, I'm gonna be trying to get some work done, and um, I'll check in with you guys next. All right, so it's a little bit later in the day. I've just spent the past couple of hours um, making phone calls to loved ones, you know, friends, family, and the people close to me. Uh, I also uh, went and uh, grabbed my crutches and did a little bit of walking um, around my area just so I could get um, my legs and my knee moving the best I can we're currently I mean my PT is closed and I normally don't regularly go to like spinal cord injury PT but after I got hit by the car and broke my leg um, I definitely been going a lot more um, PT there we're currently in a state where there's a lot of uh, uncertainty there's a lot of emotions uh, there's a lot of change in our life it can be difficult at times because I know I know throughout the day I get these like 20 to 30 minutes of just like pure anxiety that just like goes over my whole body and I just have to ride it out because as soon as I ride it out, I'm like, I'm okay, everything's gonna be okay because I, I trip too much about, you know, the future and what could happen. You know, I'm, I've got medicine that I have to take. I have to have that medicine uh, monitored. I've got medical supplies. I have a disability. I'm a high-risk category. Like, there's so many reasons why I'm in my head a lot, but needless to say, open communication is something that we need more than ever right now. You need to communicate especially with your family that you're staying with, the people that you're staying with, whether it's friends, roommates, family, whatever, you need to tell them what's bothering you before you, before it builds up inside of you and creates anger and resentment and then you blow up at them and you yell. We're at a difficult time where we're forced to be in, in small places with people that maybe we don't spend a lot of time with regularly, but it's, it's about this open communication and you know, I'm fortunate, I'm living by myself right now, I don't have anybody in my space, but I know people that are, you know, five people in a two bedroom, or probably even more than that. So, you know, just know that um, this is all gonna be temporary, this is not a permanent thing, like, it's gonna be okay, like, we, we will move on from this, but for now we gotta do what's right for ourselves and what's right for the community at large. And a lot of us are having a lot of problems right now. There's a lot of people that are losing their jobs. There's a lot of people that are uh, still have their jobs, but they're unable to work. Dealing with, a, with other issues that are going into life, a lot of uncontrollables. Kids are home from school. Um, it's just insanity right now. And I know for myself, what I'm finding out is that there's two, two kinds of problems, and that's controllable and uncontrollable. And to know the difference is very difficult, but you have to look at a problem and ask yourself, no matter what I do, will this change? And if, or can I change it? And if the answer is no, then you just have to let go. You have to surrender. You have to accept the fact that that is a problem you cannot change. However, there are problems that you can change. There are things that you do have control over. And, and you do have the ability to, to take action in certain areas of your life. You do have that power and I just wanted to say thanks to everyone if you've watched this all the way through because this is crazy this is weird um, I'm trying to find a way how to get you guys <laughs> videos and podcasts and 
and and and merch soon but everything is crazy everything is changing it, uh, we're having to work around a lot of stuff and um, something that I think is a superpower for people with disabilities and I don't want you to underestimate this at all resourcefulness we are some of the most resourceful people so if you're resourceful I promise you you're going to be okay um, I, I, I don't vlog. I normally on my sign outs are like, you know, super scriptive where I'm all like, oh, if you like that, leave a like and leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and we got a podcast, but I don't know, the tone of this video is, uh, is different, but all those things are true. If you liked it, give us a like, <laughs> you know. This is, this is a little experiment. I mean, we're not getting crazy cinematic shots and B-roll slow-mo, you know, all these things are, they're just me putting this, you know, camera in a certain place, but more to come. I don't know, man. Let me know if you like this. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Like, I really, I would like to know if you like this. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Bye. Don't forget, podcast. Podcast, 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 podcast. We got a cool podcast. Check it out. Podcast. <laughs>